Welcome to Creative Tap. Um, in this video we're going to be discussing the uses and gratification theory. So the uses and gratification theory is a media theory uh, based on why a consumer uses a certain media product. Um, so a lot of media theories tend to go around saying that a media product influences the audience, but it's more. But this theory is more about why an audience picks a certain media product. So for example, why have you chosen this video? And it's a form of information or education. So this theory discusses the five reasons why people uh, purchase media or use media products, and they are information and education, social interaction, identity, entertainment, and escapism. So first of all, we're going to look at um, entertainment. So for example, you'll probably go and watch the latest Marvel film or you'll watch whatever you choose to watch on TV and one of those reasons you'll watch it is purely for entertainment reasons because you'll find that entertaining. So that could be the latest game, it could be um, a magazine which you find entertaining. So you are going out there into the world purchasing a media product because it entertains you and that is one of the um, uses and gratification theories. The second theory which I'm going to discuss is social interaction. So this is quite an interesting one and one which I'm familiar with quite a lot. So for example I will watch match of, I don't like football but I will watch match of the day on a Sunday quite often so I have something to talk about in work with my colleagues um, so that's what the social in integration uh, model is about. It's basically you're using media products so you have something to talk about. So it could be that all your friends have downloaded or are playing the latest game with the latest mods and everything like that and maybe one of the only reasons you're doing that is so that you can you know join in that conversation which is ex exactly my example I'll watch match of the day. Not really into football but it's just something I can talk to my colleagues in the office about on a Monday. The third one we'll look at is information and education and it's quite likely that one of the reasons you're watching this video is to be informed and educated about something. Now this can go as far as you know documentaries, watching the news, buying a newspaper, it could even be reading an online article about a film so you can be informed on what the rating of that film is. It could be any online YouTube tutorial, um, maybe you're looking at how to edit a film together or something like that. So that's another use and gratification that an audience can get out of a product, it's to inform and educate them. This can even go as far as buying one of those walkthrough books which you can get for games. For example, um, when I was younger I couldn't complete GTA so I would buy this book in game and it would show me how to complete certain missions. Now that is, it, it's, it falls into probably entertainment because the game is entertaining for me and it's information and educating me how to actually get past that. So you probably used this before. So the next one I want to talk about is personal identity. Now this is quite a big one. Um, so it's kind of generally accepted by psychologists that um, you've, you've heard of the term role models. It's kind of generally accepted that we kind of look up to certain people within the media. So for example when I was young I used to watch a lot of James Bond with my family and I always wanted to be like um, James Bond really. So I, I, I looked up to him and I, I used to buy all of James Bond magazines when I was a kid and I even to the point where I, I almost start, started adapting mannerisms. Um, now this can be seen quite widely so let's say for example um, uh, Ariana Grande for example just picking a random celebrity. It may be that you know you're following her on all the social media um, platforms like Instagram, Facebook and this can have a positive and a negative aspect. Now if you kind of identify with her maybe from your ethnic background or something like that it may be that's that's a great thing. Um, however a lot of these kind of celebrities are all these size zero models so it can portray negative aspects as in um, a lot of people with body image. Now that's not to say someone like Ariana Grande is to blame at all. It's a lot wider of a problem than that. Um, but another example, I used to like um, Carl Pilkington who's who's a British comedian and I'd even I'd watch all of his shows and I'd even start adopting mannerisms because I, I felt some of my views were quite similar to his and that's one of the reasons I'd watch him is because I felt that I had quite a lot of similar views as him. Um, it doesn't have to be people in real life, it can be characters from soaps. 
uh, or any dramas. So, for example, Sheldon from Big Bang Theory, if you find that you share quite a lot of um, similar traits to him, it may be that one of the reasons you're watching that show is because you personally can identify with that. And the final part of this theory is escapism. So, for example, um, Final Fantasy, which is a video game, you may be playing that because it's, it's, it's nice to kind of disconnect from the normal world and kind of imagine yourself somewhere else. Um, this doesn't have to just be games, it can be films. Um, so there's a lot of kind of fantasy films out, out, out at the moment. If you follow the MCU or the DC universe, um, that can be a form of escapism. You you may go home and watch loads of, loads of Marvel stuff if you've had a bad day, just to kind of disconnect from the, the everyday life, the real world. Um, a personal thing for me is I'll often listen to music a lot of the time. I'm always listening to music and that helps me kind of disconnect from kind of the real life. I listen to kind of upbeat, um, sort of sometimes indie, sometimes dancey kind of music purely to kind of disconnect and kind of, you know, it probably releases endorphins to be honest. And it's, it's just that form of escapism. You're kind of forgetting about, you know, all everything you've got to worry about. And yeah, it's a, a form of escapism. So quite a common one again, it can fall into film, music, video games, any, any product. It, it's very dependent on the audience. So that is the uses and gratifications theory. It's a theory based on why consumers purchase or use media products. Um, so it is quite an interesting theory um, and quite often some of them may kind of uh, merge together. So it may be that somebody will watch something for entertainment and escapism purposes. Um, it may be that they'll watch or use a media product um, to inform themselves and for social interaction, social interaction. So they need to be informed in some, about something and educated about something so that they can join in this conversation at work or in school. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, feel free to check out our others. Give us a subscribe, a like, comment on what you'd want to see next just so we know um, what, what other content to give you. And cheers for consuming this product and I hope it did inform and educate you. So cheers.